What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I'm gonna to show you how to basically randomize your velocity on your MIDI notes. Now basically you pretty much want to have random velocities across all your MIDI regions because well, if they're all in the same velocity such as this uh, little drum loop right here, it's gonna be very redundant and robotic as they like to say. So I'm gonna show you how to take your MIDI regions, could be long, small, short, wide whatever and i'm going to make it random so basically when it plays out you're going to have different velocities hits to make it sound more human and a bit more or less computer like so i'm going to go ahead and hit play right here on my drum uh, sequence right here so as you can see it's all at a very high velocity so basically what you want to do is to randomize your velocities select your region go up here to midi go to transform and you could do it in a couple spots right here. I'll show you two of them. Basically, if you want to go to random velocity, oh, the window popped up on my other screen. And you can go ahead and hit random. But I, what I like to do is go to the plus minus random and actually we'll give an amount. So let's go about 10 to 15 is good. And we'll go select and operate. And then you'll see right here, the colors have changed and the velocities have changed as well. So if I go ahead and hit play, And then you can go ahead and change that furthermore every time you hit this right here. Obviously, you want to change the value a bit more. Change it up. Boom. It just makes your drum sound a lot more lively. Again, so I'm just going to go ahead and undo it and show you another method. Maybe even quicker method for all you guys out there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And I'm going to go again, select my region. Go to MIDI. Go to Transform. And then here you can go to something called humanize and basically it has a preset that kind of humanizes your uh, midi uh, sections go select and operate and boom there is your midi uh, selection right there all humanized as logic says So it just makes your sounds a bit more lively even though it is a slight difference it does make a difference when all your kind of regions are in different velocities because naturally when a human plays actual instruments, it's not going to be at the same velocity at all. It's always going to be slightly different here and there. As well, this will also help you guys out if your keyboard doesn't have a velocity sensitive feature. This will help you out as well. Just kind of put throw this on there and that's pretty much your velocity sensors are right there. So you don't have to worry about having a velocity sensitive keyboard. As you know, on the actual keyboard itself, when you on the caps lock keyboard, virtual keyboard right here, it is um, not velocity sensitive, so this will help as well. So if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section. And as usual, guys, more great videos always coming soon. I'll talk to you soon. Later.